ready for a surprise. All right, so you got the perfect focus. All right, no jammer. Let's see what this thing can do. Yeah, I'm not getting any damage now. You're close to me. I'm going to get damage. I get close to you. Yep, there it is. It's got the stack, though. So if I can find a way to get damage out, I can do even more. And look at this survivability. Damn. What the fuck is this? Okay, that was a preview for a new idea I had. Um, the survivability on the build was just insane, but it doesn't have a whole lot of damage because as soon as you get shot, you lose the armor. So I'll be making that build later on to show y'all. But uh, as for right now, there's been a lot of problems being shown in the division right now. Things not carrying over. Uh, other content creators misleading uh, people and things like that of that nature because of which I need to redo slash put out the proper information in more details apparently for some people so that way y'all can fully understand how to use the expertise and the proficiency system because some people are saying one thing and they are completely misleading you and making you waste your time and other things so let's get into this video as fast as possible and try to explain it a little bit better Shall we begin? So first off, people are saying that you can craft these and they don't work for your weapons. And when you donate them, that it doesn't carry over or do anything. So let's prove them wrong. We have a bunch of Savage Wolverines that we crafted. The only way to get these is to craft them. As you can see, the numbers are going up. Agent okay, let's go see up. if it works on anything else. Hi. Let's go to the bench. Let's craft a different weapon. See, black market AKM. We'll craft one. Okay. Craft another one. Let's go over here. Let's donate. Let's find where it's at. It's right here. Let's donate. Ready? Here we go. Oh, it's going up. Another thing is, when you have a new character, you can come over here. You can do the same. All of them carry over. Now, when you make a new character, you will have all these grayed out at first. All you have to do is, instead of seeing them grayed out, is walk right over to your right, talk to Anaya, and buy the deal. Now, you can't do exotics. To see you. But, look, account shareable blueprints. Boom. We come back over here to the bench. Make sure we... Oh, actually, let's do this. Let's increase our watch to max out before we do anything, before we start showing this, shall we? So be right back. So now that we maxed out our watch and shared between them, we've got all these credits. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? Now remember, it's going to cost you about one watch point for these about one and a half for these and maybe about one thing of credits to do these weapons so let's show the weapons now again what i mean by is it's 979 credits and you have 10,000 per each watch which allows you to do at least i'd say about 10 on just credits then it's one steel because it's 50 and you get 36 about one piece of carbon fiber which is 26 you get 25 and about two weapons bought which is about one watch point for the credits and then deconstruct which would get you about 46 or so so you probably need a third so another watch point so roughly about five watch points would get you enough steel and carbon fiber and deconstructed pieces and then one watch point for about 10 bought weapons so roughly about four to five so about 80 or so watch points and you can have a full thing of weapons okay so you can craft every single one of these so let's go back to the numbers and see how many you can craft really quick we got 11 10 8 9 8 8 7 weapons you can craft and then donate and be done 
Now, in so doing, in one whole day with my watch points at 5,000, I was able to get to a level 11. And look at all these weapons we got. Look at all of them. Now, the artist tool and these other ones I bought from the DZ vendors and other vendors around here. So every week that the vendors come out, go buy them, except for like the ravenous. You're going to have to use points on that one unless you just have a bunch of ravenouses laying around. But you can literally go make these over at that bench and then donate them. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if you take my advice, you'll have all this stuff done. You'll be at level 11 within one day. Guaranteed. One day. Now, again, it cost me about 4,000 watch points just to do this. Okay, that was a full character. And I was able to get to a level like 11 within, say, one whole day. So... Again, if you want to do this the fastest, I've already shown a lot of people how to do it. It's just on you to do it. Now, this is time consuming, okay? Don't get me wrong. This is very time consuming. But you can also go over here and buy for every one of these vendors every week because they'll come out with new weapons. Now, some of them have duplicates like the pistol down here. Um, and as well, you got to be careful because some of these, like this, the UMP 45, there's also UMP 9 mil. You got to be careful on which ones you buy and what, all that kind of stuff. But you can go over here and buy, like, from each one of these vendors about four or five items, which usually, with all the math, is going to cost you about 65 points. So right there, there's a vendor... Uh, also, the DZ one, or the, the clan vendor, you got one over there, you got one over here, and then you have two over here. Now, don't forget that there's a third vendor in this area, but that one's also the exact same as over here, your clan vendor. So, roughly, I mean, you can do all this, get to level 11 within a day's time if you do this, and you'll have all these done. Now, the these right here, the skills. These skills actually do transfer over to each character. A lot of people make a mistake on that one, okay? So as you can see, it allows me to go to proficiency level right here. So what I'll do is I'll go say, let's just go one efficiency level. And you see, now we're at 2% burn. And you see the one down there at the bottom where it says upgrade at the very bottom right? So let's go to a different character and see if this one transfers over because a lot of people are misleading people thinking that hey just because I efficiency say some Petrov gloves the contractors that that's going to efficiency all of my contractors no this is wrong I don't know who it is that's saying this I have seen a few I'm not going to put all these people on blast because there's a lot of them out here saying this but this is wrong so as you can see we go over here to my other character oh look we already got the level one and we got the burn so skills transfer over that's cool so if i efficiency all my skills every bit of that's going to transfer over period now what do i mean by those that won't so for instance you can see right here we got the one on this character as well just to make sure so you're not just seeing it off that one yes it's a level one if i want to increase it to level two it'd be go i could go right back to the other character boom level two so all these, efficiency all these out first, all your skills, okay? Do not worry about these. Just use your watch points for those up there. Don't use any watch points on these because all you have to do is put on six pieces of this, Heartbreaker, uh, Striker, whatever. You can put six pieces on and max it out. So here's another piece of proof. As you can see, I have a Catharsis Mask, level three. I have efficiency this mask out, right? To level three so far. I'm going to go to a different character and show you as proof that it doesn't count for your gear. It does for skills, but it doesn't for gear. Okay? That's what I'm trying to prove to y'all because a lot of people are getting misled on this one. And do, 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 do. Safe area detected. Voila. My other character that has a catharsis mask. Oh look, no efficiency whatsoever but the other one has a level three so when you efficiency something it's just that piece of gear okay you can efficiency anything in this game but it's just going to be that piece of gear so you're going to have to efficiency each and every character's gear that you want done that's where it becomes time consuming as well so if you do my deal you'll be proficiency level 20 really fast 
Now, on another note, a lot of people are doing this wrong. Yes, I did say you can do this, but this is for people with high watch levels and everything else. You can use your watch points for here, okay, if you want, but don't do this, okay? The reason why I say that is if you have a high bunch of watch points, by all means, go ahead. Waste your watch points. Don't worry about it. It's less time consuming. But if you want to save credits, you want to save your watch points, put it into cash and buy mods and deconstruct them. Okay? That's how you save it. So give me a few seconds. We'll be right back. back. So now that we've maxed out, we've got 1.5 million in credits. That will give you exactly the same amount as almost 2,000 printer filament, okay? So rather than using one watch point and getting 10 and using 200 watch points for printer filament, we use 150 watch points for credits, and then we come over here and we buy the cheapest thing, which is the magnetic rail. So this way we're saving money and watch points and everything by buying these up and then deconstructing them. Okay, that's how you do it. So give me another second. So now we've bought out of all of our credits a hundred of these. Okay, we bought a hundred of them. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, one more time, we got a hundred. We're going to deconstruct all these, set them for deconstruct, ready to delete. Okay, now when we deconstruct this, because we have a hundred and typically they give six, that's 600. Okay. So you're gonna to have to do it at least three times. Again, this is time consuming. It's gonna wear on your thumbs and everything, but it's gonna be for cheaper and a lot faster. There we go, 600, boom. So if we wanted to do it again, we could do it again. Now we have about, I think, 800 or so, so now we got 1,400. So I could buy another 600, but I don't wanna waste, waste the points. So I'll use these up and maximize something. So let's see what we need to max out. Again, first thing you want to do is use on skills because those transfer to every character. So let me see, what do I need to do? I think there was, we can do the fixer drone, or can't we? Yeah, let's do the fixer drone. Boom, done. And look, we still have some left over. So, when we do this, I want y'all to also notice that each one of these gets something special. Like this one here, it gets duration increase, uh, damage reduction increase. That's 20% damage reduction increase. And that's even on a level one skill or zero skill tier. Uh, damage, scanner range. Uh, on here, we get burn increase. For some reason, this EMP does not allow an upgrade. Don't know why, but it just the increase it should get to 20 but it's not doing anything as you can see we can go back and back and forth to it it doesn't do anything we can't upgrade it for some reason sometimes even though it says we can you see how it like grayed out i don't know why it's bugging like that um each one of these gets something and this is so stupid the shrapnel traps get more damage so now i can take off some skill tiers on my my one build and yay uh threat increase so each one of these gets something special uh, Artificer Hive, I don't know what that one is yet. I'll figure out what this one is, but we'll probably come back to that one uh, later on after we figure out figure them all out. But uh, yeah, I mean, each one of these gets something special. But like even the shields, all of them get active regen pretty much that I've noticed. I'm about to do the Crusader later. Hell no, to the no, no. Now, the other part is, a lot of people don't understand this, named items that you can craft over here, craft them, okay, because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, we're going to do a demonstration. Let me find something that I have a lot of, like, uh, let's see, okay, we got 127 in the raw these, okay. So if I craft and make these, this is going to be way more time consuming rather than just throwing on six pieces. And I'm going to show you real quick why. But these named items, you can craft these because they don't just drop. And we're going to donate these ones so we can max it out. Now, we'll probably never use them, but hey, either way. So reason why I selected gloves, I want to show you all something as well. Check this out. We've got some weird set of Haydn gloves never seen them don't know where they're at but we can craft those but these are not craftable where the hell are these hiding gloves 
I have never seen a set of hiding gloves in this game. Where are these devs? What are these? So anyways, let's donate this. As you can see, we could donate a set of Alps gloves, the named ones, and we get a fourth or a half of a rank. So if we donate another one, we'd have one. But as I'm going to show you here, again, I want to find these hiding gloves. I want to know what the hell they are. Um, if we go down to Araldi's and we were to donate those gloves that we uh, crafted, it's going to waste our time. As you can see, we've got right here. So if the thing stays stay or stays the same, we should get half of a rank, right? You'd think so, but you'd be wrong. You get the same amount as what you'd get for printer filament. The same amount as one piece of printer filament. So printer filament will make it go even faster if you have high watch points. So donating those and just using printer filament will give you the same amount, everybody. Seriously, it's exactly the same amount as what you get for donating one piece. So getting, uh, I think it's like 30 for each. So getting five things and deconstructing them for printer filament is going to be faster. So just go farm printer filament and donate them. Again, if you're going to use your printer filament, use it on named gear and the weapons that you did not craft, okay? As well as skills. Work on skills first, okay? Because these transfer to every single character, okay? Even when they're efficiency. But do not waste your watch points on brand sets or gear sets because you can literally go craft or put on six pieces on your character, run a mission, and boom, you will be done. Okay, so don't waste it there. 